All right. Hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. Today we're going to take a quick look at a program called Playout B, which is a simulator of a Blackmagic Design Hyperdeck. And uh, so let's go ahead and switch over to uh, that view. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my Mac where I'm installing this. So this Playout B is a program that runs about $50 and which is substantially less than a Hyperdeck. And so Hyperdecks aren't in my budget at the moment, but I just kind of took a chance that this was going to do what I wanted. And so uh, I think it does. So let's, let's just go ahead and dive in. But Playout B helps you add your videos to your live stream by turning your PC or Raspberry Pi. And since this web page was created, they've also added a Mac version of this, which is what I'm doing. And so the first thing we're going to do today is actually get it working on my Mac. So when I downloaded this, uh, actually, so what we're going to do after we get the Playout B working is we're going to create a macro um, that will then tie into the app that I've purchased for managing my ATEM. So, um, so anyway, let's let's just switch over to this view real quick. Um, I've got the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, which has the capability of doing what Blackmagic Design calls Super Source. And um, so, Mix Effect is the great little app by the developer Adam Tao that lets you do animated Super Source. Of course, it has it's a complete control system for the ATEM, but the thing I love it for is it makes animated super source so easy on this. So, so anyway, a few months ago, and this program has been out for about a, almost a year now. So, um, but a few months ago, Adam added the ability to tie a macro that you create for the ATEM into one of the animated super source uh, presets. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, create a macro that involves um, the Hyperdeck or the uh, Hyperdeck simulator and then tie it to one of these animated presets that you're actually seeing. So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back over. I'm going to switch over to another view. Uh, this is this is my ATEM software. You can actually see, <coughs> me. you can see, um, my mix effect working in a little corner here and then my little preview down here. But here's my ATEM software and if I come over to the media player section you can see that I do not have any hyperdecks detected. So I need to go back to my Mac over there for one one quick piece of information. So let's uh, go ahead and minimize this. And uh, so here's the downloaded Playout B. You basically just drag and drop this, but I'm going to need to know what the IP address of this Mac is. So this is my old, um, it's actually a 2012 MacBook Pro. And uh, so it's, it's actually working fine for this. So just so you'll know, um, but we're coming over to the network section. I need to remember remember this number for a minute. So 192.168.1.125. So we're now going to switch back over to this view. Actually, let's do get my face out of the way for a second because we need to come down to this gear in the lower left-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and that brings up all the different general the, all the different settings for the ATEM the one we're looking for is the Hyperdeck one. And you can see this is where you put in the IP addresses of all of the different Hyperdecks you might have, which in my case is Playout B. And I'm just going to paste in the IP address uh, that, we, um, that we found out from that Mac. So let's go ahead and click Connect. And by the way, if it doesn't light up to connect, um, wow, failed to connect. So I've had that before. Um, might actually have to stop the, the ATEM. 
So let's take that out and just add it back. And you know, I don't know. Let's do 12 and connect, and that's not going to work. But, and then let's add the five back in. Click. And we're looking for this to change right here. And oh, you know what? I don't have play LB running on. Let's go back over there. So I need to actually fire up play LB. So let's go ahead and do that. And so this, this, this was actually perplexing to me. So um, when we first uh, kick this, kick this off, um, you, you're greeted with the black screen. This is basically the output screen. So I currently have no videos or anything running. So this is, that's what it's reflecting here. Um, but I, I went up and I was looking for the documentation on how to do this. And as a, you know, I'm clicking around the different things. And when I clicked documentation, it opened Safari me and took me to an unusual web page, which might mean something for a developer. Um, well, uh, well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Let me minimize this for a second. Okay. So here it is. It's, it took me to this web page for Electron. And if you're a developer, that might mean something to you. That means absolutely nothing to me. So, um, so anyway, now I've got Playout B running. So um, this is the interface for it. I should be able to come back over to the Mac now. And let's go to this view and click the gear. And let's try getting that to connect again. Let's just connect. That one's, of course, not going to work. We're going to try this one. And yay, we've got a HyperDeck now. Um, there are no clips, so we're going to need to go over. Let's go over and uh, let's go back to this view over here. All right, so let's go add some clips. I'm going to click the little plus. I'm going to add a little short. Actually, I'm, I'm going to be using this one. And this is... I didn't realize that I could add mp3s, so I created an, a web, dot web m version of the long version of this audio. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then I want to add a little, sh couple short videos. This pan and tilt excerpt that I'm going to be doing, using for a vid video on the state of clean HDMI out of iPhone in 2022. So since the last version I made in early 2020, it's been a lot of a lot of stuff happening in that space. So anyway, let's go back over here. I want to add a really short. It's kind of um, I don't think it takes JPEGs. So I've got a like a two second long video that is basically going to have my Tom Q's tech tip, tips background, and then I'm going to go add uh, a very short version of the. Let's go back to Tom Q's tech tips of that audio. So I've now got four clips in my Playout V interface. So when I come back over to, uh, let's go to this view. And um, actually, I want this one. There we go. All right. So uh, yes, there it is. There are the four clips that I just in entered into the Playout B interface on the other Mac, which is now being detected over the network because of its IP address, which was uh, entered into the settings. Um, right down here in the lower left. So again, it's under HyperDeck. You put in your IP address and that's pretty much it. So I've got my HyperDeck working now. My Play out B hiker hyperdeck. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm going to make my first little macro. So the first thing I want to do just for this video is I'm going to use the 7.2 second version of this little, little audio right here. So um, let's go ahead and start a macro. I'm going to click macros and pull that up. And I'm going to click a spot that I want to put this in and in the create section, I'm going to click the plus and we'll call this intro audio and record. 
So let's come over to our audio settings first of all. And the input section or the the channel that this audio is going to come in on is not going to be over the regular microphone. It's going to be coming through the HDMI in H HDMI 6. So this is going to be the volume right in here. And through experimentation, I found that the level I want for that audio is minus 30 dB. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn this, turn this audio off because uh, I want to make sure it gets turned on in the macro. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to put, pull this audio down a little bit and add a pause of one frame and then pull it down to the minus 30 and add another pause just to make sure it gets nailed in there. And then I'm going to turn the audio on and I'm going to come back to my switcher over into, make sure you're in the media player section and come down here and choose your clip. So. Uh, the one I'm going to want is pastel slide short. Now I clicked on this one first. This one is that that little it's really a, a it's not even a full second of video. So, but it has no audio to it. So I want to make sure that it selects number four. So I clicked away from it onto something that doesn't have any audio, um, and then clicked it, clicked it again. And so when I click play. You're going to hear, you should hear that audio clip at minus 30 dB. And let's just go over here. Yes, I see it playing and it should stop in a second or two, right? There it goes. All right. And I should be able to stop the record. And there's my, there's my uh, macro, which if I were to click this right now, it would play it again, but we'll save that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I think what I want to do is attach that to this, this preset right here. So I'm going to start Tom Q's tech tips. I'm going to be on this screen and then I'm going to click this one and bring my face in. And I want that little audio clip to play at the same time. So let's come over here and I want to get out of this view here. And that is this T TQTT background PIP. I'm going to long press on it and click um, edit preset. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And um, actually, there's a step you need to do before this, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, run macro, and then I'm going to choose my macro, which should be at the very bottom. There it is. And I'm going to come up and save my preset. So the only thing you're going to need to do before this, if you're using mix effect is you're going to need to back out and come into your switch, your settings, scroll down to the bottom and make sure enable super source macros is turned on. So once that's on, then that should have worked over there in the other section. So let's click super source go over to this. So now, I'm going to click this preset, which just is my Tom Q's Tech Tips background. And then I'm going to click on that one, which, as you can see, it's got the macro number 41 attached to it. So that should be playing at the minus 30 dB, that audio clip. So I should be able to welcome you to Tom Q's Tech Tips with that running in the background. So let's click this. And then, hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. Let's go back over to this so you can still see this. And there it goes. It just faded out. So that was pretty easy. So, um, and that macro was not very complicated. So it was pretty easy to do. Uh, what I'm going to do now is create a little bit more complicated one. I've got a preset already made out for the, the video excerpt that I want to play when I click this preset. So when I click it now, it's taking you over to that MacBook Pro, and which is going to be having, I think I minimized this. So I'm going to maximize this and put this in full screen. And then we'll come back over to where you can see what's going on. And uh, we're going to start another macro. So let's go back up to macros. And so this is going to be a little bit more complicated because 
Uh, let's go ahead and click a spot. Oops. Create. Click a spot to put it. Click the plus. I'm going to call this pan and tilt clip and start recording. So one of the things if you start working with macros is you'll find that there's a ton of things that are happening that might work when you first record the macro with the settings that you currently have. But as you switch away to do other things and you run the macro again, it may have changed some of the conditions that were fine when you were recording it. So we're just going to, and there's tons of videos out on creating macros. Um, so I'm not going to really go into that too much, but let's, uh, um, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm, since I'm already in audio, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off again. And uh, we'll just change the volume slightly. I, and I'm going to be want, wanting to go up to about um, minus 15 dB. And I, I, only, I know that because I've been tinkering with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just raise it in a couple of increments. It's not, not a super fade, but I just want to make sure it's going to minus 15. And then I'm going to turn the audio back on. Then I'm going to come over to my switcher. Actually, let's go to the media pool first. Um, I want to make sure that Tom Q's Tech Tips is in media player number two. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that over there. And then I'm going to go to my switcher and make sure in my super source section of the palettes. So here's here's the super source section. I want, I'm going over to the art section. I want to make sure that that is on media player two. So I'm just going to click away from it, click back on it. And then we're coming over to the media player. Um, I'm going to click on that audio list little clip. And then we're going to click pan and tilt. And um, let's move this out of the way. What I'm going to do in a minute after I click play is I'm going to switch you over to the pan and tilt excerpt so you can kind of watch it. But I'm going to click play. Then I'm going to stop my recording of the macro and then switch you over. So play. And uh, I'm just interested in this one camera, which is the one that you're seeing up here. And what you do is you move your finger in the preview area of the switcher app. So I'm just going to start touching it and you here, can start seeing see the audio is playing the gimbal move from different angles. So and of course, 10. what it what it's aimed at. Then that's the end of the clip. So, all right, let's actually, let's just stay here. So in my macros over here, I now have a pan and tilt clip, which if I were to click that, that should play that again. But what I want to do now is attach it to this clip right here. So I'm going to come back over to the super source editing section and scroll over to pan and tilt, long press, and edit that preset. Scroll down. Scrolling hasn't been working really well in the M1 version since I started the uh, the beta version of Monterey, so um, I don't know if that's a Monterey thing or a mix effect thing, but anyway, we're going to run that macro, click macro, scroll down to the bottom, and click the pan and tilt, save the preset, and so this one now has number 42 macro attached to this. So I'm not gonna well let's just let's just see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. It should switch over to this. Um and it's actually gonna keep playing even if I switch away from it. So let's click it. And uh I'm just interested in this one camera, which is the one that you're seeing up here. And what you do is you move your finger in the preview area of the switcher app. So I'm just gonna start touching it and you can start seeing the gimbal move from different angles and of course what it what it's aimed at all right one last little tip so i'm back over on the macbook pro i'm going to pop my mouse up to the top get out of full screen minimize this um 
if you're having any trouble with uh, Play Out B, I had a little situation where it wouldn't run properly. So let me just uh, show you the error message that I got. Um, some kind of JavaScript error came up when I was launching Play Out B. And I reached out for help uh, to the developer. And he suggested, let's go ahead and get out of this, that I go into, uh, need to be in the finder. I'm going to click go, hold down option, click library, and go to application support and go find this playout B folder. And I just deleted the whole folder and that, that actually fixed the problem, although that will also um, clear out the, oops, minimize that again. Oh, where's my little, all right, let's quit it all together and let's come back. Okay, there it goes. I'm going to minimize that. So it will also, if you delete that folder, it will also clear out all, all of the clips that you've uploaded. So be prepared for that. Or if you need to clear them, clear them all out, you can do that. So anyway, I think that's my last, uh, last little thing I wanted to talk about. So thank you for tuning in to Tom Q's Tech Tips. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.